It was July 2017, and this is the month that we came up with the idea of framework science. This is also the month that I met Jesus Romero after many discussions with Ben Jenkins regarding software development outsourcing in Tijuana. Jesus and I connected over a few beers and we ideated the entire concept of framework science and how we wanted to raise the bar on quality of service by doing something completely different. The very next day, we got up early and started looking for office space. It was a long day, but we found a really great spot. Looking at that window, we had no idea at that time what was going to be our future. Jesus worked quickly and secured the rental contract so we can get started with the renovations of the office space. And there was a lot of work to do. It wasn't easy. There were a lot of sacrifices, a lot of long hours. Uh, we had to maximize budget and get very creative. As you can tell by our office table <laughs> built with uh, some plywood there and some saw horses. We got some pretty cool lights, thanks to Ben Jenkins. We also got some great furniture that spent hours putting it together. It was a nightmare. I don't think we're gonna do IKEA anymore, but things started to take shape and we were excited. In a week's time, we were able to finish the office and pick up our first client at the border, bring him to the office and interview our first round of engineers. It was a behemoth effort from all of us, uh, Jesus and his family and all our friends. We were trying to get things done in time and to achieve what we've achieved in such little time. Our client was impressed. Even though we didn't get the business, we knew that we were onto something. Time was ticking and we had to move fast. So all our efforts shifted towards sales. As we moved quickly, uh, Ben Jenkins was already in communications with another potential client, uh, which netted us to uh, interview David Torres and a few other engineers uh, for the first client. And due to this, uh, you know, we were able to hire David and get started uh, on a very interesting, uh, you know, IoT project. Now we were committed and that hiring David turned into also us hiring uh, Palacio uh, on the mobility side. And now here we are, where things are getting really exciting. Now we have two employees, two great, wonderful engineers that joined us and uh, we're starting to crank. We're so excited. We are so happy at this point. And you know what? We started to grow. But then we quickly realized that this little office was no longer going to be able to hold everything that we're building at this speed. We had to think outside the box and start thinking about the future. Once again, Jesus came to the rescue and found us a great spot with a brand new building. We got a great deal, plenty of space, and uh, we were just so stoked to, to be able to move into a brand new building like this. Now that we had experience building the first office, it gave us more time to think about our brand and what we wanted to show our engineers, our culture, what do we stand for? So it was time to mature and focus on what we're all about. So the colors, the theme and everything was set in place and we started to make our move.
we started to gain momentum and we had time to help out local tech communities. Many may know us as savvy digital explorers. We do take the time to have a laugh or two. Our technology culture is about the right people doing the right things in the right time. We like to go that extra mile to get shit done right. We would like to thank our clients and our amazing staff for making 2018 an incredible year. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for making our mission a success.